This as the legislative session gets underway also today. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is live at the Virginia State Capitol with what's at stake and what's likely to pass. Jackie, good evening. Hey guys, this will be Governor Glenn Youngkin's second swing at a legislative session. And just like round one, Republicans will control the House of Delegates and Democrats the state Senate. But that blue barrier just got a little bit higher. On day one of the 2023 session, Democrats growing their slim majority in the state Senate. Aaron Rouse flipping a red seat blue in a critical special election. <laughs> And making a surprise appearance at a press conference this morning. Voters of Virginia Beach have spoken and Norfolk has spoken that we will not roll back the hands of time when it comes to women's reproductive rights. Democrats now have a 22 to 18 edge in the upper chamber as lawmakers get their first chance to weigh in on abortion rights since the fall of Roe versus Wade. Both sides of the aisle now acknowledging this will hurt Governor Glenn Youngkin's chances of passing a ban on most abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. It doesn't change any of our agenda at all and we have to go to work. We have to get things done together. But Youngkin's $1 billion tax relief proposal, which includes cuts for people and corporations, getting harsh reviews from Democrats like Senator Louise Lucas. We need to make sure that we put money into the pockets of hardworking families and education and to hell with the governor's proposal. Republican House Speaker Todd Gilbert fighting back. The state is flush with cash, which means that we are overtaxing Virginians. Gun reform is once again top of mind after a six-year-old allegedly shot and injured his teacher in a Virginia elementary school. But Democrats aren't expecting results. It's ridiculous and it's embarrassing. But unfortunately, our colleagues want to dance around the issue. Republicans like Senator Steve Newman are instead focusing on school safety and improving a broken behavioral health system. The governor's put an enormous amount of money and direction in for mental health. I think we're going to agree on that. The General Assembly will also decide the fate of climate change commitments, competing casino projects in central Virginia, and retail sales for recreational marijuana. Here's House Republican leader Terry Kogor. Marijuana will be addressed this year. How? We don't know. Now, the session is expected to last for 46 days, during which these decisions that are made could be very consequential, especially in an election year that will see every single seat in the General Assembly on the ballot. Live at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.